Hi guys, it's Penelope in London. And what I'm addressing, as you can see here, we've got, I've got solar fire. I'm looking at, it's the chart of today, and I'm looking at something called Neptune square the nodes. So what does that mean? N-O-D-E-S, so the nodes of the moon. So we have the south node, which is past life, and we have the north node, which is the path that we're on following. So we all have this in our chart, and we have a natal placement, and then we have the transits and the transits of these nodes you see here, Gemini, 30, 20 degrees. And the nodes go around the chart this way. The planets go around this way. And what we have is that we have a square currently to Neptune. And you see here the node. So we've got 18 and the nodes move backwards. So this has been going on for some time. I'm going to explain what this means. So if you took a ruler, for instance, right now, you know, and put it on the screen, you'd see that we've got these both at 19 degrees. The node is moving around this way. That's the past. And the we're moving towards here, something towards Neptune and away from Neptune. And Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. And Pisces holds the 12th house in astrology. So with a square, we have tension. And because we're looking at the nodes, they're opposite. This is actually a T-square as well in my, you know, I don't know if other astrologers would say that. I'm still learning, but this is what's going on. So as a result of this, if we go back, I'm just going to show you when this started because we've got, we allow an orb in astrology so that in order for something to be active, pre it being conjunct, like yesterday we had the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, um, and that was when they were exact. It was 0, 0. 0.29 degrees, which gave us a conjunction, but they would have been, you know, conjunct before that in astrological terms, because we would have allowed an orb of so many degrees. So let's just play with this and just say that we allow a five degree orb as an example, don't take that literal, but I'm just gonna, because it's different aspects, we allow different orbs. But for a conjunction, sometimes I think I've heard up to 10 degrees. So it's something that's happening. It's not like something all of a sudden happens. It's something that we're already feeling and there's something that's already within us. I've done a lot of work with Simon Forster on my own chart and um, coaching. He was you know, helping me to understand my own astrology for many years. And something that he said to me, which was very fruitful when we're looking at astrology and worth taking on board, because this is what I see to be the truth, that astrology is just a bunch of symbols and timings and mathematical calculations. The question is, and you, this is the bit we need to hear, the question is, what are you feeling? So hyphenated, what are you feeling in relationship to that? And then when you make sense of that, then you understand what the astrology is telling you. So when we look at this chart, we're, we're feeling this stuff. It's not so much just the stuff that's happening. It's what we are feeling um, as a result of what's going on. And this we can see in the chart, what the collective are currently feeling and what plays out because when we feel a particular way then we act a particular way as well so let's look um very interestingly at that but one thing i will tell you yesterday which was fascinating with this as jupiter and saturn you see zero degrees here um in aquarius we've got pluto which is birth death transformation transmutation it's much deeper than this but i'm trying to make it simple for now it's square to the Mars, which is our libido direction, not just sexual libido, like libido of wanting to get on with things, but also it's our impulsiveness. And then we have it, Eris here, E-R-I-S, and um, it takes 560 years to move around the chart. And she is the goddess of discord. Very slow this moves. This is going on for years, this, um, you know, it, it's it, it, very slow, but Pluto will keep moving and it will move off of um, Eris. Then what we have is that we have Uranus, which is breaking free of limitations, conjunct um, Lilith, and Lilith is to do with the shadow and the collective shadow, but also our own personal shadow. And when we uncover our shadow, we uncover the gifts. This is the good thing about looking at the shadow, that we begin to not be so impulsive and we, you know, we just go deep into the psyche and we can be understand you know, ourselves, and then we act differently, and we feel differently, the more we know. So I'm just going to move these nodes forward. And I'm going to go by, um, 
I'm going to go by days, actually. You're going to see this chart move quite quickly. And um, what you'll see mainly is the moon. The moon takes two and a half days to move through a sign. So you see it's 11 degrees at the moment in Aries here. So we could be feeling a bit impulsive and wanting to get things done and be quick and speaking quickly and getting things done quickly. So, but we might feel restricted um, at the same time because of the aspects that are going on to that. So we can see that, let's see, the moon currently is trying, the moon moves quite quickly anyway. So let's go days ahead. So we're going to go backwards first. So I'm looking at Neptune here. This is Neptune. And you can see that Neptune really doesn't move. And the reason is, in fact, that went because it takes 184 years to go around the chart. So it moves, but it moves really slow. But the nodes um, are taking 18 years, so they move faster. So you can see here that it's 20 degrees. This was the 25th of November. So if we go back again to the beginning of November, let's go back to the 1st of November. You can see that up here. So on the 1st of November, the node was at 22 degrees, but we've taken into account that they move backwards, okay? It might look that they move forward, but in an astrological point of view, they move backwards. The planets move this way. The nodes move this way. So let's go forward. This is the 1st of November. So we're watching this node move on in to Neptune. And I'm going to tell you what this means before I start moving that chart. So let me tell you um, the definition of Pisces, which is Neptune based, is it's to do with disillusionment. It can be victimhood, where we feel persecuted, the martyr, also the savior. It's our illusions. It can be to do with um, addiction, alcoholism, the mystic, the medium. It's to do with our psyche, astral glamour, where we're wounded, suffering. It's our innocence, the fool. Um, escape, hopeless and helplessness, weak boundaries, it's surrender, it's our subconscious, transcendence, it can be the poet, the native, the naive, sorry, the na naivety, the, um, fantasy, masochist, lost identity, you know, the feelings of suicide, um, the musician, um, loss, erosion, isolation, confusion is the big one now, hey, dreamer, disassociation, disbelief, which we are in disbelief, particularly in the UK right now. And um, the government's saying, you know, we're in on an I, an England is separate to Europe. So, you know, they're talking about no food coming in. So they're trying to solve that one at the moment due to media gossip, I would say, amongst other things. Isolation, confusion, dreamer, disassociation, disbelief, drugs, guilt, and um, individual guilt and collective guilt, you know? And there's a lot of that going on because, you know, the, maybe the people that weren't wearing, I'm not, I've got very, no fixed views on this. I just like to look at the bigger picture. I've got Pluto in my ninth house at birth. So, you know, the bigger picture to me is, is that we might have people feeling guilty that they didn't wear masks. There might be people, you know, the governments might be feeling guilty that they've really messed us around. Um, but maybe not. Um, maybe they're doing it on purpose. We're all delusion, illusion. And we don't know when it, this is going to end, but astrologically, it looks it's going to end. We can see this, um, the astrologers. So now we're going to take this forward, um, this node. This was the 1st of November. So it's moving on in to 18 degrees. And when it hits 18 degrees, this node, it is in an absolute square, conjunct to, not square, square to Neptune. So you can see here, I'm going days ahead. And this is the 21st. You can see it moving here if you want to look. This is the 1st of December. So the node is still at 20. And we're on um, 22nd of December. So I'll just keep moving this. The node goes to 19 on the 14th of December. We can see that. And we keep moving it. And it's at 18 on the 1st of January. So when is it absolute conjunction? 18. This is 1829. This is 1848. So go back. One, two, three. And also Neptune went direct last month as well. It was retrograde for five months. So 1904, this is 18. So we're going to go forward. And it's 1858. We want 1828 there. 1827. And it's backwards. That's right. 1820. That's it. There, just about there. So 8th of January. 
and then it will start to close in to Neptune and this will begin to move off after that. So this is fascinating time where we're heading. And this is the chart of the grand, of the inauguration. So this will, I'll have a look at this in the coming days. Anyway, I'm leaving it there. If you want to book a session with me, please do. This is what I do, helping people with the PTSD, complex PTSD, and looking at the wounding and integration of the wound, and a lot more I do too, okay? Catch you later. Thanks for watching.